Hey guys, Homo's Addicted here, and today we are building this beautiful house. Today we will be building this small suburban house, as you can see. It's got a place for your cows, your crafting, everything. It's got a really sleek look to it, so without further ado, let's build this new beautiful house. Make sure you slap that like button in the face and comment something down below. Okay, so this house will fit in a 16 by 18 plot, so if you want to clear all the space there. And we're going to start off with the birch wood, so it's mostly out of birch and um, quartz and stuff. Okay, so we're going to start off one, two, three. We're going to have a one gap, one, two, three. And then we're going to put three behind each one of these. And then on the right hand side one, we're just going to put one at the side like that. Now starting from this second one at the back, we're going to count one, two, three, four. And we're going to go around here, count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're going to go around to the back now, one, two, three, four. And count back one, two. And then we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to join these all the way together. And then we're going to place this one out like this, just leaving one at the side. Now, upwise, it's going to be roughly... Let me count this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're going to bring this up to seven. This is at the back. So it's two so far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to do the same for this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll go around to the front now. And we're going to bring this one up and this one. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then bring this one up to seven as well. Then this one and this one, because we're going to actually have a one window here. So we might as well put that in and bring these up to seven. Okay, so now for this one, we're going to bring this and this up. We're going to put this up to three so far and then we're going to get our birch stairs and put it across and then we're just going to put another one two three four across there now we can just fill this whole side in by one level two level three level so it'd be four high altogether like that and now we can work on the back which is we can fill this up to the same level as this side here because we're not actually going to have a window at the back here. So we might as well fill this up the same. Window wise, we're going to have a window like this. This is going to go all the way across. And then we might as well put it across to the same level as everything else. Like that. I uh, think what I have actually done is I've put here. Okay, so these two here. We're going to take out um, I made it a bit thicker. Oh, well, we're going to bring this inside one up to the same level. And we're actually going to take out some of this. In fact, we'll leave it like that. I'll just make it double thickness. So we're going to go around this one like this. Go all the way around it. And then we're going to put our upside down stairs there and there, there and there. And then we're going to have a half slab of the birch going across this and across here. So it's a bit thicker. So there's just more room on the inside, basically, which doesn't really matter so much. Um, one, two, three, four. So these side bits here, that's two, three, four. Bring these up to four. And we can fill this inside bit up to the same level. I'm having to build this a bit different because I've pre-built it. Usually I would do it after, but oh well. Oh well. Right, okay. So we're going to put a space across here. We're actually going to put two at the side here. And then we're going to place one on top of each one. And we're going to have this like this. And then we're going to do exactly the same. In fact, we can actually fill these here like that. And then we're going to place our birch slabs going all the way across, just like we did at the other side and here. Like that. And then this bit here, 
we're just putting one across the top because we're gonna actually have our windows here so you can fill in these windows with whatever window paint you like. Now we're just gonna, I'm gonna speed this up. We're basically filling the whole inside at this level. So this is all gonna be a floor level. We can take out the floor later, but I'll speed this up. <clears throat> okay, so once we've done that, what we can do is we can start to count these, which is one, two, three, four, five, so this is counted as one, two, three, four, five, and we can bring it across. This is where we're gonna have our balcony. We'll knock out a doorway there. Doesn't matter so much on the doorway. Bringing these up to the same level. Bring this across here. And then this, we can fill the whole thing in. We're actually gonna poke out some windows later, but we're just kind of getting the main structure down. Here as well, we can actually block this off. I think we can have some windows up there, but we'll knock them out later just to keep it simple for everybody. This here can come up to the same level as everything else. This is the right hand side. All the way across here, not up there. All the way across like that. And then this side, we're gonna have the same windows as you can see. So we're gonna have these coming up basically. So we've got like our two gaps and we can actually fill those windows in. So this is the back of the building like that. Okay, now what we have done, and we're gonna put this across here like that and then we're going to have another level here and we're going to actually fill some bushes in on this bottom bit so take some of that and put it all the way across it can be any bush you can actually have it to there put it all the way across here and there let's have a little look put our windows in on this front one and we'll take some grass put it across here we're going to use some trap doors across here as well Perfect, and then we're gonna count one, two, three, four. We're gonna go up by one, three altogether. And we're gonna bring this all the way across until it stops in with here. Bring this up an extra two, which is three altogether, like that. And then we're gonna get our half slab. So we'll take some of the half slab from here. And we're basically just gonna put it over the top of all these. So I can bring it all the way across here on top of these bits here and just fill it in. You can leave some gaps in there if you want to save on wood and stuff, but yeah, it's for the cows and sheep and stuff. But you can actually put a farm here as well. If you want to divide it in the middle, just make sure it's in the middle. Let's take some of that. And you can put some fence posts in there to get your cows and sheep out. Okay, and what I've done for this bit, we'll take some glass. That's not glass. Take some glass, put it across there. And we've got kind of a little balcony area. And uh, we can start to work on the roof now. So for the roof, we're gonna count one, two, three, four. Bring this round as well. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna overhang by one. It's a bit of a tricky roof, this one. So we're gonna overhang here bring this all the way across like this and then as you can see it kind of combines into it because it's got one more overhang so we're going to bring this across here and then this is going to go around here and we're going to basically put stairs underneath and then bring them up at each thing we're going to do it on each one as well so like that stair up and then turn this one it's always awkward on pc for some reason and definitely comment down below because um for some reason the comments have been going down likes have been going down and stuff um, don't know what's happening i'm trying my best um 
Okay, we're going to take some of this. And we're going to have them facing out like that. And we're going to do the same at the front as well. So place this underneath. And then we put our stairs on. Underneath, underneath the stairs. There, 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 put a stair underneath like that and face out while you're facing that one. And then we've got this back one. So it'd be exactly the same. And then we, what we're going to do is use the stone to combine all this together. Let's see. I'm a, I'm a console builder, so this is kind of difficult for me. Like, it's awkward controls. Well, let's see. Go to this side, this underneath here, and then, of course, this is going on here. Right, so we've just got the stone now. Um, and we've got to try and work this. So this is on the right-hand side. So if you're facing from the front, down the right-hand side. Like this, and then we'll put this one. I think the awkward bit is here. So we'll get this turning here like this. And this will be turning here as well. And then we're gonna have this going up and around to join onto this roof. Hopefully I'm doing it right. I think so. This turns onto this one like this and then joins in there and hopefully these you just kind of follow the pattern so i'll speed this a little bit up you're just kind of following the pattern all the way around till, so it's joining onto the next roof okay so once you've done that you should have this t sort of shape and then what we're going to do is we're just going to get our quartz slabs and run it all the way across. So we're kind of joining these just along the top and fill that in, bring this across like that and there. So hopefully we've got this roof done. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to work on this bit. So we're going to bring one, two down and then we're going to have these two either side because we're going to have a little window there. And then we can fill our window in. So as you can see, we've got that. I'll just toggle down fall. There we go. And so we've got that bit and same for this bit as well, but we're going to make it two so we can replace that one. One, two down, place these at the side and we've got our two window there. Like that. And then We've got the same for this one. This one's right at the back, so we're gonna have a small window. These two either side, and place our small window in there. Now across here, we're gonna use some of this. We're gonna go like this, and it should be just high enough so we can actually get um, a fence and just place one, two, like that. And then what I've done, I've got the crafting table and the furnace and just place it in that little bit there. And we can actually fill these windows in as well. That's trapped off. Fill that in. Um, yeah, so we're pretty much done. Um, what I've done is I've put two plant pots there. And we need to actually work on the front so the front looks a little bit better. So what I've done for the front here, I've taken blocks and placed them here. Like this. And then for the front, I just put one, two, one, two of the fences. And I got some half slab of the birch and put it across the front. And then obviously you can fill in your flowers and stuff like that. Um, fill in that window. For the inside, I'm just going to show you where you can kind of get your thing going up. So I pull it out here and bring this across. Just bring your stairs down until we get to this point here. 
Um, what we can do now is fill this bit going up to the top and we can divide it off here. Just leaving enough room so we can actually put a doorway in here. And then you can have this for like secret chests or anything like that. Um, I would probably divide this up and maybe put a doorway in here or something. Um, in fact, I'll put it near the window. So you can walk in here, it doesn't close off the window and then maybe do something like this. And then have your kitchen in here so you can have your furnaces, uh, crafting tables, you can turn it into a storage room or something. Down here you can have a hallway with maybe some storage at the side, some couches or something. And then you've got a little place here that you can put something. For the bedroom, make sure you remove these so you can actually do them. And then it should join up here. So you can actually get that going across there. And then what I would do is put this going up to the ceiling like that. And then you can actually bring it down from the ceiling and you've got like a little bedroom as well. So you could probably put the doorway, I don't know, here or something. I'm just kind of giving you little ideas. Um, I'd like to see what you guys come up with for the interior, but I'm kind of giving you the room set out and stuff. And um, what we'll do here is you can chunk it up. Wait, um, I put some stairs underneath here like this, just to kind of make the roof look a little bit better. And then you can actually get some glowstone. So we'll get the glowstone. It's a really simple inside job here. Put some glowstone across there and then we can actually get the trapdoors at the top, just so it looks nice. And you can do the same for in here. You can actually get the glowstone across the top and fill it all in. So fill it in however you feel looks good. So you could have maybe this going round, this would go round to here, joins onto here. Just kind of working with the roof pattern and design. Uh, across here, it would just be all the way across here. Like that. And then for this bit here, um, wait, that's a bit, a bit off there. Um, this underneath here, this can go underneath to here. And then you can kind of, I don't know, block it off there. And then you can get your trapdoors in. So you can get your trapdoors in here. Um, I wonder if this will work. Bringing like a pillar down from here to cover up that bit. And then this going across here. And yeah, you can actually do whatever you'd like in here. You can actually get some bushes, crafting tables. You've got a place for your, um, your bed. And then we can put some plants, pots outside there. Slash up time set. And there you go, guys. I really, really hope you enjoy. Um, make sure you slap that like button, subscribe, because um, you guys' support is awesome. Really does help me out. So, yeah, you can just put, fill some flowers and stuff like that. And, yeah, you've got a beautiful suburban house. There you go. See you in the next video. I will make sure, and I've done this one as well, if you just come across my channel. Um, I've got a big modern house over there. I've got this awesome chimney one. Look at this. This is like an awesome survival house. So all these will be in the description. So check them out in the description. Hope you enjoy your new suburban house. I'm almost addicted. I'll catch you later. Peace.